Good morning and thank you for joining with us on our Focus for today. As of the news from last night regarding, our, our locked, regarding another lockdown, we want to reassure you of our continued prayers. We realise this is a, it's a very difficult time for everyone and be assured that God is in control, that he will look after you, that he will care for you. Because after all, that's what Jesus told his disciples, that God cares for the sparrow. And I know that he will care for you. That's what Jesus told his disciples when he was commissioning them for their great journey of faith. He said to them in Matthew 10 verse 29, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not therefore ye are of more value than of many sparrows. Jesus has commissioned his disciples and he has cautioned them. And he has said to them in verse 16, I'm sending you out as a disciple of mine into the midst of wolves. And that will look like in verse 17, men will beat you, they will slander you, they will, they will hate you, your family will betray you. In verse 20, we will be hated by all men for my sake, verse 22. And so Jesus is saying, if you want to serve me, it's going to be like a, a death sentence. Their mission is going to be dangerous, it's going to be divisive. And so you can imagine the fear that could have gripped their hearts. I wonder, is there one listening this morning and you're fearful? Fearful of where the money is going to come for your, for your presents for Christmas? Fearful of how you're going to provide for your family? Fearful of when your next health appointments are going to be? Well, Jesus this morning gives us an antidote to that fear. He gives us medicine. He gives us a pillow to rest our head on. For Jesus says, firstly, God cares about the things that we don't notice. God cares about the things that we don't notice. Verse 29, are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. If you check your Bible dictionary, you will notice that sparrows were the cheapest and most insignificant food on the market. In fact, you could buy two sparrows for one sixteenth of an unskilled labourer's wage. And yet, Jesus reminded us that our Creator cares for the little things that we don't even notice. Meaning that if God cares for something that's worth so little, that's so insignificant, how much will more will God not care for us? You see, the word translated as, as fall can also be translated as hop. In which case, a little sparrow that hops on the ground, it doesn't go without God's knowledge of it. That billions of sparrows hopping all over the place, God sees every one of them. God cares about the things that we don't even notice. And friend, I want to say this this morning. God deeply cares about every aspect of your life. How do I know this? Because Jesus didn't die for the sparrow. He died for you. And he died for me. And friend, if God values a sparrow, how much more does he not value you who he gave his own son for? And through even this lockdown, I want you to remember that you are precious to God. You are his inheritance. He will look after you no matter the situation. Trust him. Put your faith upon him. The second thing that Jesus wanted his disciples to know was secondly, God cares about the tiniest details of our life. Verse 30. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. The average hair count is supposed to be around about 140,000 hairs per head. And yet God has the knowledge of every hair. It's a really mundane number. Yet God takes knowledge of it. Which reminds us that God is neither distracted. He is neither absent about your situation. He has his eye upon every movement that you take. He has his eye upon every situation that you're facing. He's involved in your life. And therefore he is to be trusted. We are to put our confidence upon him. Because Isaiah told us about the great God that we serve in Isaiah 41 verse 13. For I the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand saying unto thee fear not for I will help thee. And through this next lockdown it's God the Lord will help us. He has promised he will. He is a faithful God and he will come through. The third thing 
Jesus wanted us to know was that God cares about us when trouble comes. God cares about us when trouble comes. Jesus repeats himself three times in this passage. And in fact, three times in six verses, he says the words, do not fear. In light of all that I've said, in light that light of that God cares about the things that we don't notice, in light of God cares for every aspect of our life, that our sovereign heavenly father is looking over every detail, that God cares immensely for us, we ought never to fear. Because we know God is already in our tomorrows. And so we must trust God. We must trust the one who knows our tomorrows better than we knew our yesterdays. We must cast our care upon him because he careth for us. Don't fear this next lockdown. Rather trust God. Put your confidence in him. Whatever your situation is, he's a faithful heavenly father this morning. I was reading recently of a story of Sylvia Martin, uh, who was a pastor's wife, and she was in New York when she came in touch with a a very godly couple called Mr. and Mrs. Doolittle. Mrs. Doolittle had been bedbound for over 20 years. Her husband had an incurable disease, and he would have to go around his business in a wheelchair. And despite their real difficulties, They lived a really happy Christian life and they brought a real comfort and inspiration to all that were just around them. And one day while Mrs. Martin was visiting the Doolittles, she asked asked her, why are you so hopeful? What is the secret to your joy in the midst of pain? And Mrs. Mrs. Doolittle told Mrs. Martin what it was. And Mrs. Martin went home and wrote a song about it. And you might be asking, what was that song? Here it is. If his eye is on the sparrow, then I know he watches me. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home when Jesus is my portion? A constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow and I know He watches over me. And during these next couple of weeks, maybe difficult weeks, discouraging weeks, be encouraged. You're of more value than many sparrows. You are loved immensely by your heavenly father. Maybe this morning you need to go out and just look at the sparrows, look at the birds, look at the flowers and think to yourself, if God cares for them, how much more will he not care for me? And then rest in that love. Uh, Flood your soul, immerse yourself in it over over this perhaps coming lockdown period. Remember most importantly what Jesus said in verse 31. Fear ye not therefore, ye are of more value than of many sparrows. Let's pray. Father we realise that we are facing another lockdown and perhaps very difficult days. And yet we thank you that our heavenly father is in control and that he is watching over every movement that we take. He is a God that will supply our every need. He is a a God that's working all things together for our good. And so we trust you. We rest upon you. We lean heavily upon you because our God knows the way through the wilderness. All we have to do is follow. We thank you that we're of more value than many sparrows. And so we pray that you will help us even throughout the day to soak ourselves in that fact that we are loved and cared for by our great heavenly Father. We ask all this in Jesus' name. 